Today I will show you how to make this crazy stuttering twitching effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip from the Osama Sun and that's been music video. And what we can do now to start the twitching effect is simply just press Ctrl D on one of your layers, like which you want to stutter. And my method is to move it three frames or four frames forward. So let's just move it like one, two, three. Yeah, three frames forward. And now we can start the twitching. So how I do it is basically I go right here and I go one frame forward. I press Ctrl Shift D to cut this and move it one frame forward. Now again move here, go back here, press Ctrl Shift D, move one frame forward, take this here, move one frame forward, press Ctrl Shift D, and yeah, you just repeat the process like however long you want. Now we can, I guess, stop the twitching right there, and it's gonna be like this twitching effect right now. Yeah, I think that is very cool, and it's been getting a lot more popular to use this twitching effect. And you can do the same here, like press Ctrl D, but here we can drag it like one, two, three, four frames forward, and here we can press Ctrl Shift D, move one frame forward, and then just do it like this. It is one of the easiest effects to do and that's how it looks on this clip to make that like data moshing twitching effect that you saw in the intro of the video that i did right here i actually did this on my edit from my instagram so if you guys don't know i already have like an instagram where i post like stories on what videos i'll post next or i'll i'll ask for your suggestions or i will give you some sauce or anything like that so i would really recommend to check out my instagram and also the full edit for this but basically some people wanted me to make a tutorial on this so how i actually did this data moshing twitching effect is by data moshing and and to do that, it's like you can go like right here. Wherever we want to start the data motion, we can press B. When you want to end it, like maybe right here, we can press N. Now for this to work, you do need to have a plugin called Data Mosh 2, but they have like a free trial version. So you can also check that out. Like it's for like free for seven days, but I would really recommend to just get the plugin. Now, if you have the plugin, you will see this little screen and here we can go and press plus. Now, I don't remember like the exact combination I did, but I'm pretty sure I just want to multiply. I either made the intensity a bit higher or not. You need to press on the hold frames uh, let's actually set it to like 58 yeah you really need to mess around here and then let's press data mosh okay so i got this result now this is not how i did it the first time i don't i i'm sorry i don't remember which preset i used because i really mess around a lot it might have been like one of the sin and cosin presets but anyways like when you get your little data mosh like it can even look like this to be honest we still have these like pixels and we can press Control shift D to cut it up a bit. And yeah, bring it to where we want to twitch. So we can like start the twitching like, and instead of this twitching, like we can bring it here and we can just have it to twitch like this. So this is like the data mosh. I just did with that. That's basically I would twitch with also data mosh. I would really recommend to check out my Instagram because I really want to post more edits there and you can ask for whatever tutorials you want there. And if you see like an effect from the edits and you don't know how I do it, then you can DM me and I might make a tutorial on it. And I would also like to tell you that I have a video editing website called poikas.com in which I sell video editing assets such as like my opium packs or the flicker packs, which just work fantastic with these type of edits. So I'd really recommend to check out poikas.com if you want to make editing a lot easier and a lot better but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya